So now in this video I thought we would do a quick review of the 220 ohm resistor. I use it quite a bit in 5 volt circuits. Here is a uh, quarter watt resistor. It's not 220 ohm. You can see the uh, color right there. But it's a quarter watt resistor. So 0.25 watts. That's the maximum though. So that's primarily the size right there. You should uh, stay about half of the way below that or even lower. And um, so uh, to keep it from overheating the less wattage um, the better. So we have uh, 0.125 watts. That's what we're kind of aiming for to stay below that but I converted these to uh, milliwatts right there. So if the uh, 0.125 watts would be the same as 125 milliwatts right there. This is thousands of a watt. Hopefully that makes sense. So to begin with, we have a voltage across the resistor right there. Uh, when you put a voltage across the resistor, current's gonna flow through it. It's pretty straightforward. It's the voltage divided by the resistance right there will give you the current but it gives you the current in amps I already converted that uh, because usually people talk about at these lower currents milliamps so 1 divided by 220 is about 0 0.0045 I rounded this off which is the same uh, 0 0.0045 amps which is the same as uh, 4.5 milliamps right there so if we double the voltage put two volts across it instead of one volt we'll get twice the current so you can see about 9.1 approximately. Three times the current across a voltage will give you three times the current so far. So um, that is linear right there. If you raise the voltage by a certain amount, it's going to be that many times as much uh, current. Really straightforward. When it comes to wattage though, it uh, gets more complex. So here you can see at uh, one volt is very, very low uh, wattage right there. Much less than uh, 125 milliwatts. And so you might think I can raise the voltage by a whole lot, but you really can't. Um, let's go with two volts first. So we double the voltage. That'll be uh, twice the current flowing through the resistor. We actually get four times the current. Uh, three times the uh, voltage will get you three times the current, nine times as much uh, wattage. And uh, so it goes up exponentially right there. Uh, much more quicker. So you got to be careful when you raise uh, voltage. Uh, so there you can see five times the voltage, five times the current, 25 times the wattage that we had there before. But uh, if you have a five or a 220 ohm resistor, you should be okay with uh, five volts. So a lot of times use a 220 ohm resistor to protect a red LED from five volts in the circuit. Um, but uh, Hopefully you're already aware of this now. It's uh, one of the first things you should learn when you learn electronics. When you put a LED in series with a resistor, uh, these red LEDs are gonna drop about two volts. So they build up about two volts. The rest of the voltage goes across whatever is limiting the uh, current. So if you use a 220 ohm resistor, five volt power supply, red LED is gonna take away about two volts from the resistor. And we'll have three volts across the resistor getting about 13.6 milliamps of current through the resistor and LEDs. LEDs don't limit current other than they drop some uh, voltage. So other than that, after that, they uh, pass current pretty freely. It's the resistor that limits the current. So I explain that a lot in uh, videos where I uh, use a resistor to limit current for uh, LEDs. So hopefully that makes sense, but uh, yeah, this is just kind of stuff uh, to uh, keep in mind whenever you're working with, in this case, a 220 ohm resistor. It's a good thing to kind of uh, write something out like this for whatever value resistor you're using and the voltage that you're using. Now, in a 5 volt circuit, um, this is the maximum we can expect across a 220 ohm uh, resistor. As I said before, the LED is going to drop a little voltage. Usually you don't just have a 220 ohm resistor with the supply voltage across it. Um, so you know it's always going to be less than 5 volts for the most part across a 220 ohm resistor if you're using a 5 volt supply unless there's a voltage booster circuitry involved. So that uh, takes in current and provides a, a little uh, power source that has a higher uh, voltage if there's a booster or a coil that uh, does like a, a kickback or something. Um, coils can raise voltages in parts of a circuit. But uh, for the most part, unless you know 
that uh, there's something in there raising the voltage in some way or another uh, if it's a 5 volt power supply powering the whole thing uh, it's probably safe to put a 220 ohm resistor anywhere so um, yeah that's really about it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video